Hey everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Vexed, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do some mastery rank farming. So let's get started. Alright, so first of all, this is going to be for early game and about mid game players. Uh, I'm going to be doing this for both categories of players. And so I'm going to get started with a little bit of the mid game. If you've got a decent Warframe that's about level 30, and you pretty much just need to be leveling up weapons at the moment, you should go Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. This is extremely good for my Saren. She levels up things really quickly, especially with a double affinity booster, which I am also running right now. Um, very, very good to have that on. That way you get the most out of your affinity farming. Alrighty. And the second thing is gonna be for just regular um, players that can't quite just do level 60 to 70 uh, missions I'd say go ahead and run Helene for a while until you get comfortable and then go over to Sedna and start running Hydron a slightly higher level defense they're the same uh, Grenier tile set so they work extremely well together as you're moving up in the ranks so level up your weapons um, get them to level 30 gain some mastery ranks so that way you can start getting more and more powerful weapons um, and yeah, so those are the two sort of patterns I want you to aim for super early game go for Helene Then try and to transition to Hydra and Sedna and Then try and get into elite sanctuary onslaught for grinding out your late game weapons Alrighty Now getting into how you're actually gonna gain your weapons and the tools that are going to allow you to actually gain that mastery rank So first of all, I'm gonna show you your boosters I want you to grab a three day affinity booster. If you have the time, just set out three days. You wanna get the full value you can out of this. So first I want all your weapons to be crafted and then I want you to try and run out all of those weapons, grind them out uh, without you, you know wasting too much of your boosters. If you can help it. All right, so we're gonna go over to our weapons now and we're actually just gonna hide owned, hide mastered and hide items without blueprint. That way we can go ahead and start clicking on these, checking if we have the parts for them, and seeing if we have enough mastery rank for them, uh, so we can start crafting some more weapons for extra mastery rank. Now I have bought the majority of these, I think I actually bought all of these. Um, so now I, all I have to do is get parts for a lot of them, so I can start mastering them. But yeah, I want you to also be able to gain some credits uh, before doing this because these weapons will run you out of credits real quick so to make sure that you have enough credits for those weapons I want you to also make sure you go ahead run over here go to Neptune and complete the index a few times try and do high indexes they're extremely valuable and make sure you're running it through through a group you find in recruiting uh, or if you have some friends you can run it with as well that works by the way, we're doing this pretty much all after we've finished our star system, or at least gotten to Neptune. Uh, it's going to help us tremendously. Uh, at least getting to Neptune will help you buy all the weapons that you're going to be needing. Alrighty. Moving forward, we're going to get into the crafting aspect. You'll head over to your foundry, head over to your ready to build items. Go ahead and sort by type, that way your Warframe parts will be all up here, and right under them all will be your weapons. Find all the weapons that you can afford crafting. I still need to finish leveling up my dual Skana, so I won't craft this quite yet. I have several other weapons crafting over here. I've got my base Ignis, a comb, uh, that thing I don't know how to say, Tonkor, a Bronco, a Furus. I need to just craft several of these so I can make other weapons that can be made out of them and yeah make sure you claim these go ahead and run over to your arsenal when they're done you go ahead and start equipping weapons that you still need to level up i don't have any secondaries i can level up right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab the dual skana whoever that may be there it is oh i actually finished matching that out so i don't actually worry about that anymore uh, next thing might be my ether reaper go ahead and worry about that next and then if I wanted to say grind out a warframe on the side I would throw titania on 
and then I would run over to my map, go ahead and run Helene, or go ahead and run Hydron on Sedna. I would just try and spam out levels as quick as I could. And yeah, that's the majority of that. Make sure you're running Elite Sanctuary Onslaught for when you need to grind out a lot of weapons. Run a high level uh, Warframe that you form it a couple of times, has really good stats on it, and can clear waves really well. Uh, there are a lot of Warframes uh, that can do that. I definitely suggest uh, taking a look at your character, your main, seeing if your character can actually handle Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. Maybe try and uh, queue up a couple of times, see if you can't get uh, someone on your team with really good wave clear. They can also carry you through that to help you soak up affinity really quickly. Alrighty, that's going to be it for today's video. I wish you all luck on your mastery rank journey, and I hope you get to that mastery rank 30 in no time. Alright, peace out everybody.